thing. Well, man, I wish we could watch movies legally on here. I feel like we should all watch Fight Club together, and, like, I would love to watch that with you guys and just talk about it. It's my favorite movie. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. John's, John's and the man. Dude, John Sandman, thank you so much for the sub, man. I appreciate it. You've been around a long time. Thank you, dude. Why would she burn the diary? Because she burned the diary because if, if anybody found out other than her, they would know that she was alive, that she is Eve and she didn't die at birth. So she got rid of that diary. She burned it so that she could continue to live. She could continue to live um, uh, with Hannah as one person living in the attic, okay? As one person. And that was the only proof that, that Eve even existed was in that diary that Florence had written. So she burned it. It's not unusual to be I don't know why. That's that's what I think is going on. Epic bait! 18 months in a row. And there's uh, Burke donate $5. Says, take this dollar and use it on your beautiful beard. By the way, the hell is this game about... I just came, came here. Can you explain? I read a bit on the site, but I don't get it. This is a very different kind of game. This is a murder mystery game where you're going through clips that you find based on terms that you search. So if I look up the term sex... Uh, there's nine entries, but I'm limited to the first five entries. So in order to see the other entries, I would have to be more specific. So sex, Simon. Okay, there's one clip we haven't seen yet that has sex and Simon in it. And we're able to watch it. This little thing indicates that we have not seen it. So these are the, these are the, the uh, clips we have seen, the green ones. The, the yellow ones are the ones that we've discovered but we haven't watched yet. And the reds are ones that we have yet to discover because we haven't looked them up. And basically, you're just trying to find out what this girl's story is and whether or not she killed her husband. So let's look up Sex and Simon. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. And she had such a crush. This is making more sense. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. Huh. For a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. And then Hannah fell in love with Simon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. The guy on your screen, I'm watching you. Fuck that! Don't donate shit like that. <laughs> That's fucked up. So she's living, so she, oh man, I'm starting, this is starting to come together. I think I'm on to something, people. It's starting to make sense. So, so she's in the attic and she's playing two different people. Hannah's shy. Eve is the more aggressive one, even sexually, okay? So because she lost her virginity and they're, be they're trying to become one person or pretend to be one person, right? She lost her virginity, but Hannah hadn't because Hannah's too much of a prude. So... They decided to take her virginity with a hairbrush. Break the hymen with a hairbrush. Not unlike, you know, most sexting these days. Anyways, so let's look up incest. Nothing. Um, hairbrush. Just that one that we already watched. Um, so, so here's what I think has happened is Eve is living in an attic with Hannah. They're going down at separate times. Then Hannah meets Simon, and she really falls for Simon. 
And this makes Eve spend longer times up in the attic. And she starts to lose Hannah and their agreement. So... Hail so Eve is likely the one that kills Simon. To get Hannah back. Maybe. I don't know. There's still more to look up. Okay, so let's... Let's look up attic. We already looked up. There's 12 other attics here. Attic... What other word can we look up with attic that will maybe get us another... Another, uh... Jesus Christ, this is a lot of foreplay for a porno. <laughs> Runner Bean, thank you for the three months, man. I appreciate it very much. That makes sense. I think, I think that you guys, are you guys like, um, are you guys with me on this so far or, or not? Do you think I'm just totally off? I don't think it's two personalities. I think it's one, I think it's two people. We already looked up mirror. Oh, did we have more to look up at mirror? Hold on, let me see. Attic and then mirror. Nope, we just get that one. Uh, let's just look up mirror real quick. Is there something else? Oh, oh, that's right. We forgot to look up mirror and watch these other ones. I think it's two. I think it's two people. I think it's two separate people. We'll play Fallout Three tomorrow. I, I have a really bad ear infection, guys. I, I got swimmer's ear, and it's really hurting. So I didn't want to really get into Fallout and all that stuff. I wanted something that I could stream for a couple of hours. We could finish and be nice and compact. Uh, this is actually starting to get a little bit more interesting and probably longer than I than I Simon. originally in, in intended. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror it's yeah, it's like an investigation. It's like a murder mystery. With beautiful things. Okay, so she's talking about Simon there. Here's another entry for Mirror. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror. Hail to the king, nice baby. Mirror. He didn't grave the glass. The kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. Me as in who, Hannah or Eve? We can never tell if it's two people because you can't see her arm on all of them. Yeah, but one of them she definitely has, well, one of them got a tattoo to, you know, her individuality is what she said. I think that might've been Eve. I think Hannah wouldn't want to get a tattoo, right? Can I, so she also found mom's pre-warm spaghetti in her sister like I did. Ah, oh, win sis is the best. Put your sister to the test. That's terrible, canine. Who's the woman in the chair behind you? Stop it, Mecca. Fuck you. <laughs> let's, let's watch this one. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Mm, I got chills again. God damn it. Let's watch this one. Silver leaf? No. And he normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. Hail to the king, baby. Gummy, I missed your donation. I'm sorry, man. Hail I didn't see the it. King, baby. Oh, there it is. Elohim, you started streaming in April and got a sub button in May, so 26 months is max you can have, just so you know. P.S. Have a Snickers on me. Yeah, Gummy Clown, I think, I think, uh, but there's still like a list, right? I'm not sure. There's a list. I think there's like one or two people above Lord of Pi. Anyways. I think you're right, though. I think max is 26. It was Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick. Wrong, totally wrong game. <laughs> the one with the hair up Hail is Hannah. The, the one with the hair baby. down is Eve. Tom! 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 Oh my god, tattoo. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, what am I typing? I'm fucking... Tat... Tat... 
Why can't I fucking spell tattoo all of a sudden? Her hair da is down in this one, and she's oh, got a tattoo. Hair down means Eve? This is all Eve. I said the hair thing like an hour ago. Sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't realize. There's a lot of people talking in chat. I'm trying to get who I want. Uh, I'm trying to read as much as I can while still playing the game. Um, mirror Simon. Let's look up that together. Okay, that didn't come up. Uh, mirror E. Nothing. Ear. Mirror Hannah. No. Uh, mirror. God, this fucking game. Dude, you know what? I like games like this. I think this game is awesome. It's a it's really original, it's different, it's interesting. I think it's a pretty cool game. I like it a lot. Dude, seriously, why did your dad's rocky chair just start rocking slightly? Fuck this shit. K9, nobody nobody it's not a rocking chair. The king, baby. It's not a rocking chair, it's just a regular chair. Stop trying to freak me out, people. Search princess. That's a good idea. Ah, good one. Good one. I like that. Yes. It's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, try and tell. Save the princess. That kind of thing. Okay, let's look up this one. Loving this. Like piecing together a puzzle, judging by the date format, assuming it to be EU, they might use the word loft as an alternative. Much love, Elo. Skirmy, dude. I'm enjoying it, too. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here. Thanks, I man. I went over the river. And then there was a church. There. Yeah. And I probably... Well, I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Kufufami, three months in a row. Thank you, man. Give me some sub love, guys. Why are the mods the only people welcoming in the new subs? Or the old subs, or any subs? You guys should all be welcoming in. Thank you, man. Thank you. Remember, only Hannah can drive. Eve said she couldn't. Really? I didn't. I missed that. Yeah. I totally missed that. It was a nice wedding. People said Simon looked very handsome in the photos. She did, she wasn't able to see. He's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the training wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. <laughs> hmm. I'm so glad that you guys are subbing. Not just because, obviously, I get money from it. But because it's making me feel less creepy in the game. Like, Tom Jones is pulling me out of it. Every time we end a clip, I'm scared of seeing that fucking face. And I'm also scared of the piano music. I don't like this piano music. It creeps me out. So thank you, Tom Jones, for taking the sting out of this. Smiling John, thank you for subscribing, man. Getting a little Tom Jones in here to make me feel less creeped out. I appreciate it, dude. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but... The traditional ones, they were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. 
There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Oh, dude, dude, it's like exactly at the end of the clip people keep subbing. Gava Meso, what's up, man? It's good to see you, dude. I, are you still playing uh, EQ? I really wish I, I had time for it, man. I really did. Have you tried searching not code? We looked up, I looked up code, and uh, I got one about the not code. Let's see knock. Knock is the same way, yeah. The, the backgrounds are different, meaning they are di they are being interrogated in different locations. Yeah, but I just kind of chalk that. It tells you, like, this one says room room uh, B or room 8. Let's see. Hold on. Room B. In, in, interrogation room B. But if we look up uh, Hannah, um, you'll see that this one actually says MT room 3. But if you see, look right here. If that, if we're going with the theory that Eve has her hair up, or sorry, Hannah has her hair up and Eve has her hair down, I don't think they're being inter. There are two different women being interrogated in two different rooms. I think that they're just using different rooms as they interrogate, maybe. But it's something to keep an eye on. We got to look up pregnant because when when one of them gets pregnant, that's gonna make it really difficult for the other one. Plus, one of them's getting fat, one of them's getting skinny. She said that too. Oh, shit. Let's look up pregnant. All right. There's 10 entries on pregnancy. So, you want to watch the one with the lie detector test? Hold on. Let me, let me look that one up. She says, I'm Hannah, and then goes, here, we'll watch that one again real quick. It's quick. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. See, she says she's Hannah, but her hair is down. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. TVA. TV's Nick, thank you for the 14-month resub, dude. Thank you. Welcome back, man. Over a year of love. Thanks, man, for the continued support. A lot of people have come in. They ask me where I've been. Guys, if you just watched the, the past broadcast uh, of this broadcast... Uh, just watch the beginning like 30 minutes. I was a fucking wreck. I don't want to get back into it I'll just leave it there and you can check it out. Wait, wait, wait as you as you wish um, Let's look up pregnant again. Oh fuck. I just spelled it wrong All right, let's watch this one. Oh Eve is used to calling herself Hannah. That's true. She is but see I don't know if I I guess I guess that could be seen that way, but also whenever you take lie detector tests, you're supposed to say yes or no. You're not supposed to give a full answer. So it's almost like she made a mistake giving too much information when she was just supposed to say yes. Notice the bruise. There's a bruise. Okay, let's see. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. Does she have a bruise? Even in the room. And they decided we should get married. I don't like the piano, man. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Let's check out this. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, I'm sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. It's morning sickness. No. Well, yes. You found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up 
in this tower. It's not unused, you want to be loved by anyone. It's not unused, you want to have fun with anyone. That's already happened. She throws him into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. So Eve is kind of like Rapunzel in a way. Mariscot, I miss, I man, I missed you guys too. I missed you guys too, man. Mariscot, it's good to have you back. Solar Boy, thanks for the eight months. Thank you, dude. And Blackjack, eleven months, almost a year now. Thank you, guys. Truly, I appreciate it. This is kind of confusing, but it's nice. It is starting to piece together. Hail to the king, baby. Ro hey, Robob, what did what did I miss, man? I am reading chat, Robob. What the fuck? Hmm. Yes, I have read. I have read these. Correct. Yeah, I have. Search for nip slips. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. 17. Oh, Robob, thank you, man. Just Love you, buddy. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, you know, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Not sure if you noticed, but Eve said the wedding was a shotgun wedding, indicating Hannah was one was the one who was pregnant. That's what I was thinking. There's ten other entries for pregnant, but we're only able to see five. So we're going to have to be more specific. So pregnant Hannah. Let's try that. There we go. There's three more. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. It's not unused. You want to be loved by anyone. It's not unused. You want to have fun. With anyone. Wow. Terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another card on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. This is the first time I've heard about a Ouija board. Turn and she slept with him, broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Ah! I hate that face that pops up. I. This is the first time we've heard of a we heard them talk about a Ouija board. Hold on, let's let's look up let's watch the rest of these. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. So Hannah got so pregnant. Many boys. Men. My body refused. And then she tried to get pregnant. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty though. I mean, how could we stay the same now? Felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. Oh, dude, I don't like that face, man. Stop it with the fucking face. I think it was that time, the first time at the house, in his bed, that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic span. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. 
I didn't tell him. And it's three periods. I have pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. Just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Micah, thanks for the year of love, man. Hope your gambling has gone well. I'm starting to think... I'm starting to think... I, I think the question now is, did Hannah or Eve kill Simon? And you could say Eve killed him because of jealousy, and then you could say Hannah killed him because of jealousy. Hannah being jealous that she had to share him with Eve and he eventually got Eve pregnant and then you could say that Eve killed him because she was jealous um, of Hannah maybe in her happiness or the fact that Hannah Eve was starting to Eve. break the rules that they had set for themselves to play as one person and she wanted to go their separate ways. Remember they talked about doing their own separate thing? Let's look up, uh, we how do you spell Ouija? Is it, how, anybody know how to spell Ouija? Like a Ouija board? Is it O-O-U-I-J-I, -I, Ouija? No, uh, fuck, how do you spell, how do you spell Ouija board? I know I'm close, but Fluffy, didn't Eve just say that Hannah wanted to be the first with him and that's why she got pregnant and now Eve got pregnant as well? Sluts. Well, Eve is like the slutty one and Hannah's like the very reserved one. So Hannah slept with him because she wanted to be the first one before her slutty sister did it and she got pregnant. Ouija, there we go. When beautiful people died, it always felt like it was a sign. Thank you. You remember Princess Grace, Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then, that people who died tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Hmm. Dude, this is so weird, man. Two hundred and thirty-two megabytes local storage used megabytes. Holy shit. Okay, let's look up dreams. No, dreams. Uh, maybe. It, do you think they do the? God, my ears starting to hurt really bad. Augie, 14 months. What's up, buddy? Thank you, dude, for the resub, man. Appreciate it very much. Search for hospital. Let's try that. Hail to the king, hospital. baby. Okay, there's a couple. Here we go. Ask the hospital. Ask the hospital. Oh. oh. Okay. Let's try this. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We've spoken with the hospital. Let's look up Gla uh, Glasgow. Am I spelling that right? I'm not spelling that right, am I? Wait. Sorry, I'm a terrible speller. I don't see how it's hard. Glasgow. So I said Glasgow. My bad. Sorry, Scottish people out there. I've actually been to Glasgow. Isn't that kind of crazy? It's not a news you want to be loved by anyone. It's not a news you want to have 